In this video, I'm going to show you how you can ask ChatGPT hundreds of questions for free with no coding needed. What we're going to do is we're going to use a tool called Zapier to hook up the ChatGPT API or the OpenAI API to a Google Sheet. And that way, every time we update a field in the Google Sheet, we're going to have ChatGPT auto complete a response. So rather than asking ChatGPT one question at a time, we can actually write out 100 questions and then get 100 answers all at once. So this will allow you with no coding to really scale up the way that you're using AI in your business. So I'm going to go step by step and show you how to create this setup and this automation so that it will be able to produce those results for you as long as you want to. So here we go. First, we will create a Google Sheet. In this example, I'm going to make the prompts about creating a hook for TikTok videos. So we're going to give the spreadsheet two fields. The first field will be a description of what the video is, and that's what we're going to write manually. And then the second field will be the AP, the AI generated hook that we're going to use the API to automatically write for us. So the goal here is we type in the video description and the AI will automatically generate the hook. And this way, you know, we could type in 100 video descriptions at once uh, or use AI to generate 100 video descriptions and then automatically get all 100 of the answers generated for us. So I'm using this video that we're making right now in a, a little bit of a meta situation as the video description. So we'll type this in to the Google Sheet, just figuring out how to describe the video correctly to the chat GPT API uh, in order to generate a good hook. Okay, now we're gonna go over to Zapier and we're gonna create a new Zap. Zapier is an app that allows you to automate and connect different services together. So the first service that we wanna connect is the Google Sheet that we just created. So we can type in Google Sheets and then we're going to choose what event we want to happen when, when we're going to do something, when we're going to perform an action. And for us, that is updating a spreadsheet row. So updating the video description um, section of the Google Sheet. I'm going to choose my Google Sheets account that I've already connected to Zapier. And then we choose the sheet that we just created, the TikTok Hooks Chat GPT. Then we need to choose, there's multiple sheets, so we'll choose the first sheet, we only have one. Then we're gonna choose which column is updated to trigger this. So for us, that's the video description that we're gonna write. Now we can test the trigger. And they were able to find the row in the sheet. You can see that's the description that we just wrote. Next, we're gonna connect this to OpenAI's API, uh, which is using, I believe, the same algorithm as ChatGPT, which is DaVinci 3 is the at this time is the most recent uh, text to text generation uh, model. There it is text DaVinci 3. So we can type in our prompt here. Um, and we're going to dynamically put in some information from the sheet as well. So first, we'll tell the open API AI that we want to we want it to generate a TikTok hook for the video description that we're giving it. Here you can really think about what is gonna give the best output because since we're hooking this up to be a service where we're gonna replicate it many times, you really wanna make sure that you give the chat GPT or the open uh, AI API a really good prompt because we're going to be replicating multiple times. So get that get that template correct the first time and it's really going to pay off in all of the results we're going to see. So I told it to base it off of popular TikTok videos. Then I say here's the video description that you're going to write a hook for and we are able to hook in the exact data that we just wrote into the Google Sheet and that will dynamically update. I then update the temperature setting here. Temperature is a measurement of creativity and for marketing content using a high temperature of one is gonna allow the answer to be really creative. Now we're gonna test sending this prompt to the OpenAI API. 
And there you go. You can see it just generated this text right here. So it was able to take the spreadsheet row that we wrote and generate that text. So now we are going to move on to the next step, which is taking that prompt and putting that back into the Google Sheet. So this event, we're going to update another section of the Google Sheet. So we can do update spreadsheet row. Same Google Sheet account. And this just shows that you could do this across accounts as well. We're going to or across spreadsheets. We're going to do the same spreadsheet, same worksheet. Now the row that we want to update is dynamically the row that we've updated already. And we're able to grab that in. Xavier brings that property up for us. So row ID two, that's a dynamic property, whichever row was just updated in the previous step. And then these are the two fields that it was able to pull in from the sheet. So video description and hook, and we want to update the hook and we're going to choose dynamically data from the open AVI. And we're going to populate that back into the sheet. And there you go. You can see that it just tested it and it was able to generate the hook into the spreadsheet. So we can go ahead and publish this app because we know it's working. And now this is live and every time we update that first column video description, it's going to automatically put our prompt into chat GPT or the open AI API, and then output the hook into the back into our spreadsheet. So first we're going to rename our zap just to give it a, a better description of describing what we're doing here. This is the open AI connection for TikTok hooks. And we'll go back into our spreadsheet and let's write two new video descriptions and just make sure everything's working right and that it is going to output the hook. So we'll write a video description, how to make chat GPT to maximize your website traffic. Great. That's one. And we'll write another video description here. How to use AI to improve your website. Okay, now it can take about a minute just for all of the steps of the zap to go through, um, but it really will do multiple within that minute. So if you do 10, it might take a minute, but it will do all 10 at that time. Once it makes the call, it, it's able to do a lot at once. So we'll just wait for a second here. And there we go. We can see that the call was made. And Zapier and OpenAI are populating our answers. So this is just an idea here. And there's so many things you could do with this. It really shows you how to scale up and make hundreds of calls to the chat GPT model. And I hope you found this really useful and, and can think of a ton of ways. If you have any uh, ways to use this in your business, if you have any ideas on how you want to use this in your business or any questions, I'm really interested to hear what you think you're going to do with this. And I'm happy to help with any problems you have in setting this up or any, any questions you have. So leave a comment below and thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, I'm going to be giving a ton more tips on how to use AI to really change your business in 2023. So definitely follow this channel and I'll continue delivering you awesome tutorials like this.